So what does it mean to have faith? I, I feel throughout my life, I've, I've been a Christian uh, from a very young age and, and professed my faith in Jesus. Uh, but what does it mean to have faith? And, and I, I think so often I used to think that faith was just blind belief. I think even if you look in Webster's Dictionary, it says that faith is belief in something for which there is no proof. And, and I think the Bible presents faith as something completely different. Uh, Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith is the assurance, the confidence, the certainty, the conviction of things that we don't yet see. And how, how are we able to have faith in God's promises? How are we able to understand the story of Scripture and see God will be faithful to everything that he's promised. Uh, how are we able to have confidence and assurance and trust in Jesus uh, to raise us from the dead, uh, to finish everything he started with Israel, to, to bring forth all of the promises that he's made, that, that he's not going to go back on any of them? Well, we have past assurance that he's been faithful to his promises. He's made promises and he's fulfilled them. And the confidence that the Bible gives us that we are assured that he will bring to pass everything that he's promised is we see what he's done in the past. We see his, his promises, we see him fulfilling those, and therefore we can have confidence and assurance that he will fulfill everything else that he's promised in the future. And, and I think this is just something that's so foundational to the lives of the apostles, so foundational to the lives, it should be foundational to the lives of us as believers, that we understand where this is going uh, in light of God's promises and fulfillment of those promises in the past. I mean, we see hundreds of prophecies in the Old Testament about the coming of a seed, the coming of a king, the coming of this Messiah. And Jesus comes on the scene identifying himself as that one in fulfillment of so many of those prophecies. And yet so many of those things that the Old Testament scriptures promise he didn't do his first coming. But how can we be confident that he will do those things? Because he has been faithful in the past. We've seen his faithfulness. We've seen him making promises and bringing them to pass. And according to Hebrews, according to the rest of the scriptures, that is what gives us confidence to know that he will, that we can be assured that he will bring to promise everything else that he has said throughout the scriptures.